So in today's tutorial, we are going to cover about graph traversal using agency list. So basically in today's tutorial, we are going to cover a uh, depth for search uh, traversal recursively. So this is the one of the ways of traversing a graph. Uh, one way is depth first search and another is breadth first search. So the basic difference between the two, I have already told you that DFS uses stack and recursion and BFS uses iteration. So this is the one of the thing different iteration plus Q. So these, these are the two traversals we are going to uh, learn. But in today's tutorial, we are going to learn about depth first search. So this is depth first search we are going to do today. So let's get started with the tutorial. So this was our graph. And uh, we have a file named dfs.py. In this, we are going to cover the depth first search tutorial. And here you can see we have a graph. So basically, we have seven, uh, seven vertices and nine edges. So seven vertices, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, and nine edges, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So I'll quickly give an overview. A to B is connected, yes. A to C is connected. A to F is connected. Then C to, C to E is connected. C to F is connected. C to D is connected. D to E is connected. D to G and G to F is connected. So so what we are going to do first we are take to it, going to take a graph input and we are going to implement a depth first search traversal on this graph so let's quickly do this so what we can do we can take a graph from collections okay I'll, uh, uh, I'll move to the top from collections import default and uh, before we go I would give you a brief overview of how depth first search traversal works suppose we have a starting point uh, let this be the starting point a be the starting point it's in this graph when we move from a to b then we check that is the b as a node vertex is it explorable so uh, yes it is explorable but it has all a path moving back to a but a is already visited so we don't explore it anymore so we have visited b so in the same case we move to from a we move to c recursively we move to c then we uh, move to c and check where we can go we can go from e then d either f or back to a but since a is already visited and we can't move back to it because it is already visited so we move to either of the nodes and from f i like from here we go to f so okay visited market has visited so from f where we can go we can go to g c a but a is already visited c is also already visited we can only move back to g okay so when we move to g mark market has, has visited so g is marked as visited so from g where we can move we can move to d f but f is already visited so we don't move so we move to d and mark it as visited from d we can where we can move we can move either to c or e or g but g is already visited c is already visited so we don't move there we maintain a order of vertices which we have already visited so we move to e since all of them are visited so we end the recursion there so this is how depth for search works so that's that was the case this is how depth first search works. So A would be our starting node. So this would be the starting point. Okay. So let's uh, move with the implementation part. So simply what we are going to do. V comma E is equal to map end comma input dot split. I quickly take uh, so for we have how many uh, so uh, graph is equal to default dict of list so for i in range e u comma v is equal to map str input dot split so i'll make a split function then graph of u dot append v and graph of v 
dot append u so this is how we have implemented our graph so now we have our graph then let us make a path is equal to empty list so this will define the path and start is equal to a because uh, we are moving uh, a as start node and now what we are going to do so traversed path is equal to dfs we will implement the dfs function and then i would print the traversed path okay so this is the way we are going to print the traversed path now we are going to uh, implement the dfs function the first parameter is going to be the graph the second parameter is going to be start node the third parameter or uh, the fourth parameter would be the path which is empty and the third parameter is going to be visited so i will also define a visited here visited is equal to default dict of boolean because we have we have to only maintain whether this black vertex is already visited or not so now we are going to implement the dfs function okay so here we are going to define define dfs and here i have the graph then i have the start node visited and the path so so uh, we'll complete that function so uh, so you, the termination condition of this dfs is if the all the nodes are visited one by one so if this is visited 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 and visited so the, the recursion would end there so we would maintain the visited list in o of one time because that is a dictionary so that is a boolean value that, that for that vertex it is visited and i told you that in dfs like if the path uh, like if we move from a to f so from uh, or uh, f we can move back to, from f we can move to c or g on a we won't ba move, move move back to a because it's already visited so we move to only c or g okay so let's uh, uh, complete this function so now we have first path dot append start so path dot append start and uh, visited we mark this node as visited of start is equal to true we mark this node as visited because we uh, this is the starting node and we uh, append this in the path and we mark this as visited so this is the base case now we move to the recursive process very simple for neighbor for neighbor in graph of start for every neighbor for that vertex because start is the vertex start is the vertex okay so start is the vertex for a, for neighbor in graph of start if if visited of neighbor is equal to false if the neighbor is not visited because since uh, 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 uh this is a dictionary this would be uh, we would check for the visited in o of one time if visited of neighbor is equal to false then we would recursively call the dfs graph uh, visited path we are maintaining the path and here instead of start vertex we are going to put neighbor so this is how recursion works we define it for one base case okay we define it for one base case we start the recursion here and now then it will do all the work recursively okay then uh, if the recursion would end then would return the path okay so let's let's i will copy this okay so then uh, just a second okay so yeah so i've copied the uh, uh, test case now let's uh, have a quick overview v comma is equal to map int int input of split then we have a graph then u comma v graph of u dot up and v f, then we since we define the path start visited traverse path and then let's uh, run this file and let's run this yes now here you can see that we have got our 
uh, 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 traversal so you can see that it has been a uh, unique like the traverse nodes are unique we don't have a repetition of nodes because uh, they we have maintained it maintained a dictionary of visited so let's analyze the time complexity of this uh, since we are using uh, we are using a uh, here you can see since we are using a loop so the worst case uh, for the loop would go to, go to v plus e edges and this takes o of one time big o of one time so this would take o, o of v plus e so and this is the time complexity so i'll write the time complexity here time complexity is equal to o of v plus e and the space complexity would be o of v because we are a, uh, defined a dictionary of uh, for every vertex whether it is visited or not so here you can see the time complexity would be o of v plus e and the space complexity would be o of v because we define a dictionary to check whether the vertex is visited or not and but the checking is done in o of one time because it is a simple uh, dictionary which uh, states true or false okay so this is the output we can quickly move to our uh, a test case uh, like if the start vertex was a then the graph must have moved from a to b then it ha it has marked it as visited then it would have said that is it explorable no uh, because it is not explorable mode because we can only move back to a and a is already visited so we, uh, we we can't explore this node b any further then it must have moved to c then c to e then e to d then d to g and then g to f and f it must have gone from f it could have gone to g either g either c either a but all of them are marked visited so we don't uh, carry on the recursion more so thank you this was uh, this was for the dfs part so thank you guys thank you so much